Yo, what's going on guys, it's Reverse here, and today I'm actually going to be making an updated video on how to use your guitar with Clone Hero. Uh, this is for the Rock Band 4 Stratocaster for Xbox One. So what you are going to need is you're going to need a Xbox One wireless adapter that's still needed in this. Um, now before we download anything, what I'm going to do is show you guys how I did uh, the pairing, because my, uh, my guitar kept un unconnecting itself if that makes sense uh so what i had to do is this will already be here but this one won't once you plug in your adapter it'll automatically register this but not the hid compliant device so what you'll have to do is go to add device go to the bottom one and then just keep fiddling around with your wireless adapter until you see your guitar basically come up here as like an xbox one controller or whatever uh, once you add that uh, your guitar should stay on and you won't have to worry about the rest of the uh the stuff pretty well it, as long as it stays on you should be pretty well good to go uh, so in my last video we needed uh, win p cap and usb p cap these are still both needed uh, for this as well so make sure you download both of those and install both of those i have them both so i'm not going to bother uh, and new to this actually is we're going to need v joy so you'll want to come here and download the v joy setup.exe and i'll have the main link here for this uh, this github right here in the description uh, so what you're going to want to do once you have the vjoy is you're going to want to install it and configure it so you want to configure it to the exact same settings that this guy had right here and right here uh, default this will be on eight and all of these will be checked so you'll want to just check x y and z change this to 16 and then apply it uh, you will have to restart your computer uh, once you restart your computer uh, you should be able to just download the guitar sniffer uh, right here it'll say download application so you can click here and it'll bring you to the latest release you scroll down and click on the latest release and download that one so i've got that all downloaded i've got my guitar already on let's open up guitar sniffer here it actually might not open for me because i already have it open i believe yeah i do okay so here's mine right here so as you can see if i tilt my guitar up it actually registers the tilt and everything uh, it'll notice all your frets. So if you see this, you're probably good to go. So I'll show you what to do now. You just launch your clone hero. This might be ear blasting because I haven't adjusted the volume yet. So sorry if it is. Okay, we'll just mute that for a second. All right. So as soon as you come in here, your guitar isn't going to work right away. Uh, you'll want to go into your controls. Uh, assign controller and then press a button on your guitar and it'll come up as vjoy virtual controller so here i'll just show you on uh, player number two so you press a button it'll say do you want to do this uh, it's already assigned to player one so i'm not going to reassign it but if you were to assign it for controller you just want to go down and hit your buttons so like hit your green one uh again i'm not gonna be able to do this because i don't want to remap my keys but i'll just remap them over top of my uh my other one here so we'll go to player one and then for button one you just green you just remap it replace it hit it for green same thing for red so you just remap all the things that matter uh tilt i'm not sure if that matters uh i didn't hit a button on mine i just had my guitar basically held upwards when i configured this i haven't tried playing a song yet in all honesty i just wanted to get this video out here and updated because my old one was a very very outdated so all of you guys having issues i'm sorry uh i haven't been playing clone hero for a while so I wasn't really able to update you guys, so hopefully this helps. Hopefully that'll fix all of your issues, guys. But you do still need the Xbox One adapter, and you will need to pair it with your computer, I believe, so that the guitar doesn't keep turning off on you. Anyway, hopes that helps, guys. Good luck.